was for entertainment purposes only. And if you want true legal advice, contact your own lawyer. Colorado Springs uh, had an ordinance that you can't, as a woman, go topless in um, downtown. the public, yeah. downtown, yeah. wherever, yeah. in public. Yeah. And their lawsuit in, in, ensued due to the fact that they said that was discriminatory because men are able to go topless, but men, women can't. Um, and I will tell you right now, I will not go topless. I'm now old enough and look ugly enough that I will wear a shirt when I go outside. Uh, so anyway, um, guess what happens? It goes to the appellate court, which is the 10th uh, Circuit Court of Appeals. And that covers 10 states, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico, Kansas, and Oklahoma. And they held that that was unconstitutional. You cannot discriminate against women over men about not being able to wear their top. And so as it sits now, the 10th uh, Circuit Court of Appeals said it's okay for women to go topless in the public. That you cannot have an absolute ban against it. That's, right. That was kind of limited now, in that realm. Now, what you can do is maybe as a city, Denise, you could say, all right, we're now going to ban men from going topless too. And then, then it wouldn't be discriminatory. Is that true? You could probably say men and women, you can't go topless. And and I think that could be true. Yeah. yeah. I do. That but... defeats the argument. Yeah. And some men, I think most men shouldn't go topless anyway, don't you think, Todd? I, I <laughs> believe there are definitely some men that should not go topless. And there I would say most men should not probably go many wear women speedos, who shouldn't but... should as well. If you're doing it from an aesthetic standpoint, it's not always. But that's not the point. The point is equality, right? Isn't that what we're talking about here? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, so the, this woman in um, Salt Lake City area, uh, she is a stepmom. Now, that's right when I heard stepmom, I said, okay, there you go. There's the issue. <laughs> and there are laws, Todd, that you know about children that you can't be lewd and lascivious. What's the word, lewd and lascivious around children? Generally speaking, Generally that is speaking. Upon. Yes. And, you, and you've got to be careful what you have to do around children. And they were doing the drywall. This father and stepmom were doing drywall in their garage, and they didn't want to get dirty and dusty. He took his shirt off, and so did she. And the children walked in, I believe, age 13, 9, and... 13 is too old for that. 13, 9, or... 9 through 13. 9 through 13, whatever that is. There's three of them. Mm -hmm. And they walked in and saw this, and she admits that she's a feminist, and is kind of pushing this agenda, and guess what happens? They go home and tell mom, and what does mom say? Uh, we're going to pursue this. But actually, according to the prosecutors, they said that wasn't the original reason they went there, uh, but they were investigating other issues, and I'm sure it had to do with drinking because their argument, that is the prosecution, was that she was drinking at the time. There was that issue. But they were there for the welfare of the children, on another investigation that wasn't related to this. So um, I don't know the, what the happens. The big difference here is that they were in the privacy of their own home. They were in their garage. They were doing drywall. They were getting dirty. Both him and her took off their shirts. I bet they were. And she took off her. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were they, well, getting what, dirty. Let, let's just go ahead. Their and clothing was did getting. Did you just say they were getting dirty? <laughs> no. Let's go ahead. And if we read the transcript, what Denise says, they were in their garage. They were getting dirty. They took off their shirts. <laughs> and away <laughs> we go. Out came the spackle. No. Next thing you know, or, <laughs> next thing you know, a trowel was involved, <laughs> and the roller, and so <laughs> the roller. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the look that I give them when they get yes, too, yes. too far. Okay, keep, keep going, but I want to. But I want to touch on why being in a private place doesn't matter for right. purposes Boys of the law in weird. Utah. For purposes of the Utah law. Okay, tell me about going. the Utah law. No, I, I I totally yeah. get what where you're going to go with that, but the the I think it's really important because here we've got one person whose right of privacy right now is at risk. And she's in her own home, and the children walk into the situation. It's not like she did it in front of the children. They walk in, but this is what their mother said. Their mother became alarmed because she said that she remo removed her shirt and bra in front of the children while under the influence of alcohol and said that if a man could take his shirt off, a woman should be able to do as well. So the mother kind of turned it all around and put it out there, and then they're investigated, and the worst part of it is the husband's not investigated. 
The husband's not charged with any crime. The husband was doing exactly the same thing as the stepmother was doing. And I think that the um, and acknowledged it and allowed it. I, I guess yeah, you and, say. yeah. Ex- well, he did, but still, free the nipple campaign. You guys know about that, uh, right? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Right. Sure, sure. That's I mean, yes. a huge movement globally. Every year, there's one free the nipple day, but it goes marching down the streets in various cities around the world without their. I know Cal goes on. to those ones every wherever that city is. There's he, one in Chico. There. I know that, yeah. and there's one. <laughs> Cal's talking never about been there, the but I'm just saying places that, that, that are... Yeah, well, this is a, a global movement, and it's a real movement. It's mm-hmm. like if men can take off their shirts, so should women. You know, why mm-hmm. Why are our chests um, a symbol of something that's sexual and, you know, inherently <laughs> pornographic or whatever? That's just not right. I can't hold my Facebook thing because <laughs> Todd's look is like... <laughs> well, I, 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 I agree with that, Denise. I agree with that. However, I will say... That if that is true, if it is true that it is unfortunate that the female breast is used and exploited in in, in that way, then those who it's model... It's a touchy topic. Well, it well, could be. Not recently. But, um, <laughs> Did you say not recently? Yes. I, I, I'm just, I'm just going to say that... That not Victor- recently, not for a long time. <laughs> Victoria's <laughs> Secret, Fredericks of Hollywood, all these places that sell lingerie to skimp this stuff up and bikinis and all that stuff to actually make it look more sexy would be completely out of business if it weren't for the fact that they the are, well, Victoria, that, they are right, right, that they are right, sexy right, things. Victoria's but, Secret has stopped its um, main. Well, they, uh, they show sh- that they have now because yeah. they, they because don't want to because, because they don't want to exploit the women. Yeah. That's true, but they but they haven't stopped selling bras. They just stopped the advertising. Well, they the need is still there. They haven't, yeah, but there's need, and then there is, you know, it's like driving a car. Well, four wheels and a horn, I'm okay. Yeah, but I want to drive the Maserati. Right. So, yeah, I look, we could do the same thing with duct tape, some bailing wire, and silly putty. But, no, I'm getting the Victoria's Secret bra. So, you could do it with silly putty? I, I don't know. That's what I heard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, He makes a lot of stuff with those. <laughs> 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 Listen, <laughs> duct, no wonder he's single. Duct tape, silly putty. <laughs> Here, here's yeah, here's <laughs> here's, here's the thing about this case. If yes, if it was truly they're working and she takes the top off because it's hot, and if those facts bear out, yeah, she's <laughs> probably <laughs> she's probably not going to be found guilty. However, if the facts, as alleged by the police and the investigators and the mom, bear out, which are now this is just I like to use word bear quite often. This is just an allegation. But the allegation is that she had been drinking and got to the point where she was drunk and then stripped the clothes off to make a point to the children. If that is the allegation and if that is true, then it's something a little different. Cal, you have a comment. Yeah, Denise also raised another question, which I found interesting. She said the mother has a right to privacy or, or her privacy was being infringed upon. In California, there's a constitutional right to privacy. There's not one in the U.S. Constitution. I don't know if there's one in the Utah Constitution. But Cal, with children involved, different story. No, I understand, but but she raised the issue of privacy, and I'm thinking I'm not sure that there is a constitutionally guaranteed right to privacy in the state of Utah. I don't know. Well, oh, I, but I, there there is still right of privacy even under the U.S. Constitution, but it's not. It's not. It's not like it's, it's in the preamble. Right. It's implied. Let's put it that yeah. way: life, right. liberty, and pursuit so, of happiness so are be, privacy be, interests. Before we get too far, afield, tell us what she could get if she's found guilty. Yes, if she's found guilty, not only does she looking at jail time, but she's also looking at having to register as a sex offender for the rest of her life. No, for ten years. Uh, Ten well, years. Depends yeah. on where she moves. Oh. Because if she moves to California and they don't change the law, it could be a lifetime registration depending on the state where she goes to. Now, that's the issue here. And the law in Utah is more strict than California. So we're going to follow this to find out what's going on. Go to the website, radiolawtalk.com. That's radiolawtalk.com. 